Hello beauty news family, welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday, so if you'd like to see more, don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash that Fenty pom-pom. Hooray! All right guys, you asked for it. It is time to take a close look at the Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb Glittering Pom Pom. So this is a body highlighting pom pom. It contains 10.5 grams of product and in Australia it retails for $62. Um, so in the US it's 42. Okay, in the US it's 42. So today what we're gonna do is first demo it. Um, now we're not going to get a 100% accurate reading on the weight of this product. If we cut it open and weigh it, we're not going to be able to put it back together properly to demo it. So we're making the executive decision to demo it first. We're then going to cut it open, take a look inside, weigh it, and then we're going to try and salvage the highlighter. So let's get into it. So it's already, I'm already starting to get glitter on my fingers. Um, and I also have little pink hairs on me, <laughs> so it, um, it sheds. It's very large, um, and in charge and yeah, it's not as soft as I expected it to be. I'm going to be dead straight oh, up. Oh jeez. I thought it was going to be really luxurious. So did I. I thought this was going to feel... It feels like a shitty teddy bear. I, I thought this would feel like you were rubbing your face against a baby kitten. Yeah. And it it doesn't. It feels like cheap fake hair. Yeah. <laughs> the All real right. question, Haley. Yeah. Will you be puff puff passing with your homies? <laughs> Not today, mate. <laughs> Not in this fucking lifetime. <laughs> All right. Um it's huge. So let's go. What's it doing? Nothing. Uh, fucking putting glitter on me. <laughs> oh, so you have to be darker on the base? It was. It was darker. It was darker anyway. That's the pigment coming through. No, it's a champagne. Champagne. What is it? No, rosé. Something, something. Oh, that's right. It's meant to be like a rosy color, isn't it? Mm. I don't know. It just looks like... Specks of glitter. Yeah. Can you see? Very little. It's it on looks, a... looks twinkly. It's, yeah, so it's not going to be like if you take, you know, a highlighter and dust it over your body, it, this is more like micro glitter. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. I'm wondering if I should just squeeze it and cut it. Maybe. I want to do a stab for fun, though. For right. funsies. We're going to stab it for fun. <laughs> not, not very. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shit. Definitely pierced it. <laughs> it's more dramatic with a serial killer knife. It is. <laughs> but we might need to get yeah, this. It's not, it's not, not the very effective. Oh, I see what's inside it and I'm not going to lie. Stuffing. I'm really annoyed. I've been avoiding all the videos about it. Like you just cut the head off a teddy bear. Well, that's how I felt. <laughs> that's how it, the material feels as it well. It does. So this feels like, um, you know, teddy bear material. This is teddy bear stuffing. It looks like a dirty pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. It's really gross. It is pretty gross. So that's all the stuffing. I just, I question, like you couldn't see any of that beautiful rosy color on the skin. It's just, why? It's a great question. So this is the bag that you're actually paying for. Yeah. So, 
that's essentially your product there. This was fun. Look at all this. That's just insane. Oh, that's an expensive way to apply a It is. Oh my god, it's fucking beautiful. See, I told you, yeah. Look, it is stunning. The colour is stunning. But it doesn't go on your body looking like that. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's pretty. It's a pretty colour, guys. Buy it and break it open. All right, let's cut this open and get the product out. That is tons and tons of product. So 12.11 grams, give or take, it's changed a little bit. Um, but there's definitely over 10 and a half grams of product in there, which is great. Also, what's stuck on there? <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, that looks like an accident. Yeah, it does. It looks like a, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's talk about how we feel about this. Yeah. What is in there is what's in there, all right? It's, um, you know, you're getting what's advertised. It is very expensive. I think what made me disappointed about it once I actually saw what was inside and I saw how pretty it was The the pinky color doesn't seem to be transferring. It's it's almost like it's being filtered Yeah, it's almost like it's being filtered and it's only letting out that like gold glitter Which to me gold glitter is just not that exciting however, if you're into that and you like the novelty of applying it with something that looks like this then that's great. But I reckon the real winner is this. This is gorgeous. That is such a pretty color. It's fucking stunning. So what we're gonna do now is press it in pans. All right, so we're gonna press these into some pans um, and we're gonna use Moon Moose. Because this doesn't have any binding agents in it. We're thinking Moon Moose might hold it together better or longer at least than just straight up isopropyl alcohol. So we're going to do that and uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. So this doesn't seem to really be coming together. It seems to just be getting wet. So we're gonna add a binding agent to it. Um, this is just from like a makeup um, like supply store. Um, and it's just basically silicon. Um, so I'm just gonna add a couple of drops. Um, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how this is going to affect the product. Uh, but essentially what we're trying to do here is add enough binders to this that it will press in the pan and stay pressed and not shatter or break. So fingers crossed. So you can see it's kind of starting to come together there. I reckon a little bit more moon moves. That's what you want. Nuggets. <laughs> a favorite. This actually feels pretty good. Um, like if, yeah, if this was a highlighter that we destroyed and I was repressing it, I'd have no issues with it. I'd be like, yep, this would be beautiful. If everything feels right, um, but we won't know until it dries. That 
creepy. It's kind of gross. So gross. So we've pressed three of our medium size pans, or these are also like sugar pill eyeshadow. Large eyeshadows. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have a few more of these pans, but we've actually got different plans for them, so we can't be wasting them on this product. So we're just going to use some eyeshadow pans to press the last of the product. We're going to do it off camera because you guys have seen us press stuff a million times. So we managed to get three medium sized pans and two standard eyeshadow size pans out of the Fenty Pom Pom. So what we know for sure is it contains what it claimed plus more um, and large highlighters um, can be really, really expensive. So it's not really that crazy. Um, I think if you like the application method and obviously the pom-pom and you like the color, then you know, you're probably gonna like the product. I also wanna point out that this color is absolutely magnificent. It is stunning. Look at that. Three days later. So here's one of our pans and it might look like there is a dip in here and there is. Um, when I was testing to make sure that this was dry, um, the, the formula sort of flakes away um, and comes away in chunks and that is simply due to there not being enough uh, binding agents in there. So it's it's a fine line with binding agents because if you add too much, it will seal and you won't be able to pick up product. And if you don't add enough, it becomes unstable like it is now. But we're going to go ahead and swatch this anyway. might be able to see that there's like a lot of glitter flicking around there. So in conclusion, more binding agents probably would have helped this a lot, um, at least when it comes to keeping it in the pan. Uh, but the color is still absolutely gorgeous and I think we will use it uh, because it's, it's a stunner. So this might be a little bit gimmicky for some people. It's really just going to depend on your personal preferences when it comes to makeup and how you apply it. Um, but we're both down with this color and we're not sad to have this many pans of rose Gorgeous gold. Gorgeous rose gold. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. This is disturbing me. <laughs> um, we're going to go and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.